I'm Greg Fries. I'm a paramedic in central Wisconsin. Been thinking about talking about writing about swine influenza or H1N1 influenza recently. It's an acute febrile respiratory illness or an AFRI. One of the considerations for those patients is they're often having breathing difficulty. And it would be reasonable that an EMT or paramedic would apply oxygen by a non-rebreather mask to a patient that's having breathing difficulty. And you know that a, a non-rebreather mask is set up so the patient inhales through the reservoir, and then when they exhale, there's often holes or openings on the side of the mask, so their exhaled air just exits off to the side. Well, if they are not exhaling any respiratory pathogens, that seems like a reasonable thing. But as we learned in 2003, when there was the SARS problem around the world, but especially in Canada, and now that again, we're talking about influenza, so frequently we're concerned about patients exhaling respiratory viruses, even bacteria, and the droplets that the patient might be coughing uh, related to their acute febrile respiratory illness. So there's a concern about that. And one recommendation might be, well, you could apply a, a surgical mask over the patient's face as a way to capture their droplets. But if the patient also needs oxygen therapy based on your findings about their perfusion and their general oxygenation, well, then you can't deliver through a, a surgical mask. So all med, uh, is selling a product called the FLO2 Max. This one came to me from Dan at allmed.net and it's a filtered oxygen therapy mask. And what you can see is it's constructed like your typical non-rebreather mask with some important differences. You've got the reservoir bag, an input port for oxygen to come into the system. And then the mask itself will go over the patient's face. But you can see on the sides here, there's no exhalation ports. What happens is when the patient inhales out of the bag, it goes through this uh, 3M cartridge here and into the patient's uh, respiratory system. When the patient exhales, their exhaled air, instead of going into the world around them, first passes through this filter that they say is 99% efficient at bacterial and viral filtration. So that keeps the patient's exhaled air out of the ambulance compartment where I'm riding with them or the hospital room where the nurses and physicians and, and other staff are working with the patient. So to me, that seems like a pretty helpful tool, especially for patients that are symptomatic of respiratory illnesses where we're worried about droplet precautions. Another interesting feature with this is you can use this to deliver nebulized medications. Now, I don't have a, a nebulizer cup with me, but if you had that, you'd pour your albuterol, for example, in that cup, attach it right here, apply your oxygen source, and then the patient would inhale oxygen and the medication. When the patient exhales, their exhaled air first goes through this 3M filter, and then the filtered air exits into the space around them, and this is capturing any viral, bacterial uh, droplets that the patient's exhaling. So again, this is the FLO2 Max, Filtered Oxygen Therapy Max. It came to me from allmed, A-L-L-M-E-D.net. You can check it out there. I'm sure Dan would be willing to get you more information if you're interested in how to get these for your service. This has been Greg Fries. You can find more from me at eps411.com. Thanks.